Now, what we have here is uh, an over-unity, um, gravity, momentum. What we have here is a bicycle wheel. And that's the rear chain that goes down to drive a generator. These are neodymium magnets. Uh, they're um, 30 mil by um, 5 mil, and you just tape them on, or whichever way you want to do it, fix it to the to the spokes. So the spokes come down here, 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 here. So that's between the spokes. Now these are a two uh, two pound ball, um, anywhere up to three or four inches wouldn't be a problem. And what happens is the ball starts to roll down here and is attracted by this neodymium magnet and it sits there. But it's inside a tube. You see how the tube is bent around here. Now I'll bring up another drawing. And um, So what we have then are the magnets. Arranged like this, this is a bent pipe, thin wall pipe, something like you see on uh, those pull-out beds. And inside that, these balls are placed. So when you start the machine off. We have a, uh, a DC motor, and that starts this spinning in that direction. Now the balls, because they're two pound a piece. This magnet here, which is not necessary, but it just makes an artificial gravity, uh, will pull these balls here towards them because these are steel. But this here, and this here, and this here, and this here, and this here, when the ball goes through its cycle down to here, it has lined up with all of these neodymium magnets as we go along. So now they're engaged there. They are now engaged together. But because the balls are inside a tube, they will roll down, but be locked to each of these. So as this goes around, you'll have 13 weighted balls that are spinning, that'll want to run around the edge of this pipe. All right? And it's held up against this pipe here by the magnetic field on the ball here. When it gets to the end where another one is coming in, being pulsed through by this magnet here, these magnets here that have already gone through the cycle are pulled away from this magnetic field and that magnetic field then goes and encounters another pulse action there. And these now are expended and out they go. They've got this tremendous spin up now because it's hit the circle and then it's rolling up through this area here. Passes through this. Now these are magnets that are coming together so therefore a steel ball will want to run to the centre of it and to this end. This becomes a bar magnet. So this is going to run to the centre if it can. Well, of course, it's inside a hollow tube, but it can. When it reaches this, it goes through and that pulses it. And it'll fire it up at a very, very fast rate. And it'll come up to here. And you can stop it. Or you can have it lined up here, here, here. Ready to be pulsed into this. Because as this speeds up, 
It's going to have to be fed balls faster and faster and faster. Now, what you've got then is gravity. You've got the ball spinning. It's pulling around half of that bike wheel as a power stroke. And in fact, you could probably bring it up to around here somewhere. But I wanted to leave these to be generating power to go down into the uh, battery supply down here and charge these up. So then we have these charged up. Then you can take the power off that. You run just a uh, 12 inch square carbon plates are about five quarter inch thick, something like that, five mil. And then you have it sealed right to the top. So then the gas can come off here and come off there in separate pipes altogether. You can't mix these two together because if you do, it'll explode. So you have this perfectly sealed. Then you have the hydrogen coming up here. And then you have the oxygen coming up here. Like so. That can then run generators or whatever you wish to do. As the starter motor spins us up, maybe one or two revolutions to get it rolling. Um, in a vehicle, for example, if that was in a car, um, you just come to a stop, these would fold back, and um, you'd stop the balls being flung through at this gigantic rate, and they just sit there waiting in a magnetic field. So you just stall this, in other words. When you want to start moving, you then fire these up, and that'll fire that down to there. That'll start to rotate, because you hit the starter button. This kicks it over. As she moves over, she's starting to fall once again. So, at start up, the small DC motor brings the rotor up to speed, and then the rotor is self-propelling, driving a DC motor, generating a DC output, fed into the batteries. So, you've got the weight of all these balls, 13 times 2 pounds, for example, is 26 pounds, on a bicycle wheel, it's huge. Right, and then go as fast or as slow as you like. So the principle, the weight of the steel balls falls through the steel tube attracting towards the neodymium magnet. They are attracted here and here, which we can say is uh, that and that are now attracted and stuck together and the same for all of these. They're all stuck together. When she gets here, the sudden movement allows that to go around the corner. So we have all these locked together, right to the top. I would say if you were driving in as a car, for example, and you pulled up on a set of lights, the um, rotation of these, of these balls um, will keep spinning. So as soon as you release the magnetic field, you might have to have a brake on this to stop it. Um, those rotating balls will immediately start running around and pull another one in. So you've got that one coming in and that one coming in. That one's going to be fired at you. That one's being fired at you. That one's being fired at you. That one's being fired. So you've got out there, bang, all the way through accelerating. You've got this artificial gravity as these to come together up to this point. These are pulsing, these are pulse actions that you get from uh, okay. so this is the wiring, basically two wires come up there, two wires down, feed your batteries. Same with that one, same with that one, same with that one, because these are stationary and these are flashing past, creating electricity. So that is my gift to the world. I can also show another one I'll do tomorrow night and how you can sail into the wind. So you got a headwind coming straight at you, I love it.